In this video, we will be looking at TBC 2024.10. I will give you a quick product overview of all the new enhancements and updates we made in this version. I will now give you a quick product overview of all the new enhancements and updates we've made in TBC 2024.10. First up is some enhanced support for Trimble Access Tape Measure Calculation functionality. You'll now be able to import that. Uh, import the adjusted values, uh, report on those values and also make some edits in TBC. Next up is the photogrammetry module and we have added the Skydio BT series drones into our library as well as added the Freefly Astro to our library. We have also created a new command that create all photos from facade. As you can see in photogrammetry tab you have now the create author mosaic from facade command available and in that command window you will see you can create a cutting plane so let's say we create that cutting plane for that side of the building you will tell it the two corners so you select the top and the bottom corner for the author that you want to create for the facade you tell it the clipping depth of how much data needs to be used and then the pixel size that you would like for your image you simply then click create and the result would look something like this let's quickly import that for you i've just generated it for one of those windows if you go in there i will just switch off the point cloud quickly and there you go that is a author for the facade that i've generated in there next up is the merge camera calibration we've reduced the headache there and you can now combine multiple flights and merge them without having issues with the camera calibration so that will make life easier when you want to do that for multiple flights next up is the new mines tab that we've added into tbc so if you go into tbc tabs you'll see there's a mines option now this is just to simplify all the workflows and commands we have for the mining environment into one tab we've also added two new tabs into tbc and those you can find in this mines tab the first one would be the extract mine break lines command in here you will choose your point cloud region the boundary of the pit area that you would like to extract the toes and the crests from and you can then put those lines in a specific layer and then set the maximum angle for this so the maximum angle is used to determine the break line between catch bench the berm and a bench face so this would just help you to determine what that is and you can then extract the break lines from your point cloud data the second command that we've added is the mine slope conformance report so in here you can now choose the mine slope conformance report as built mine surface model can be imported here you set up everything according to your parameters that's with the design the output settings that you would like to see and that will then create a report so you can actually see where your design complies and where it does not so you can see where the over dig and under dig is and obviously correct that we need it and also report back to your stakeholders about the progress of your operation then we will go into feature extraction so we've had some enhancements made there so for point clouds there's the feature extraction enhancements uh, we've definitely made some comprehensive extraction and reporting for lane line digitization with automation extraction for the mx series mobile mapping units so that will now be automated for you if you have one of those mobile mapping units and we've also do enhanced the severity inspection to be to ensure it meets international standards and identify hazard areas for you so we now have a road shoulder drop off analysis crack detection to very severity assessment and these can all be exported for surveyors and pavement contractors to go and correct those spots in the extract point feature command we've now added a new option so you will see that we can now extract generic type 
So we just had trees, poles, signs, and manholes. You can now do generic. So if you train your own model to extract fire hydrants, um, bollards, uh, small little poles, um, electrical boxes, you will now be able to extract a generic point for that asset. So if we go to automatic, let's just jump around here quickly. No, we don't want to do that. Go to generic, automatic. Here we go. You choose your point cloud region and then you simply tell TBC what feature shape you're looking for. So it can be normal, vertically elongated or here horizontally elongated. Once you set that up, you can tell it where you want the point feature to be generated. So it can be at the lowest feature point, the average or the highest. You tell it the search radius for points and the maximum number of radius points you want to use. You then extract the point. You can give it an ID, put it in a layer as well as a feature code. Next up is some core enhancements we've made. So we've just enhanced the ge some geodetic enhancements for customized geodetic network improvements. You will now be able to user define your variance groups um, in your GNSS vectors for network calculations. We also have added some IFC support. So let's open up this project. And now you will be able to create CAD points from IFC objects. So you can create points using individual mesh centroids, the BIM object geometry centroid, or the BIM object's center of gravity properties. That command you will be able to find under the CAD tab. And there we go. There is create from BIM. And you will see this new command. You select the object. Then you tell it to create from mesh centroids. You choose your option, or you can create from mesh faces and select your option. You can create grid only points, or you can create the XYZ position. Tell it where it want to create it, as well as give it a feature code, and that can then be used for your stakeout work or layout work in the field. We've also added the export functionality now for IFCs. So if you go to export and you look under your CAD but tab, you will now find IFC export and we can now export non-IFC objects as IFC objects. So surface line work including CAD blocks, uh, surfaces uh, will also now be able to be exported as an IFC. Trimble Connect has also been made a few enhancements so you will now be able to publish scan data to the Trimble Reality Capture Platform service. So if we go in there you will now see you will give your publication a name, you will tell it the connect project you want to send the data to and then if you go into this scan station as I added you will see you will also be able to upload your panoramas from your scanner. So it won't only be the point clouds but you can also select your panoramas. So as you can see, the point cloud region, that is what I will upload, as well as my station and the panoramas from that station set up. So this is a SX12 data set, so you can upload those SX12 data set photos as well, and you'll be able to view that in your Trimble Reality Capture platform service. Geodetic Library. We've just made some enhancements in that, so please make sure you update your coordinate system database. Uh, we've added some support for we added support for WGS84 G2296. We updated some deformation models for Japan and South America, and we've added the latest systems that's used in Japan, Chile, Tyrol, Zambia, and Turkey. So please ensure that you update, and in December we'll have another update for that coordinate system database. In data prepping construction, we've added some enhancements there. So if you go into corridors and you now create a corridor, when you create your corridor and you want line work to be done, that wasn't part of this uh, workflow. Now we've added that line work automatically when you generate your corridor. So you will see as you create the nodes, 
the line work will be generated according to those nodes. So if you create a edge of pavement node, the line work will be generated automatically for that node and that line would also be named according to the node. So that will now be done as you create your corridor design. You can switch it off in the properties if you do not need the line work and that will be for all the brake lines except the side slope. That will not be added uh, in there. The naming would not be added in there, but you will still have the line generated there. That concludes all the updates and enhancements we've made in TBC 2024.10.